New Eden. A universe brimming with possibility and rife with adventure. Only the most intrepid Capsuleers can conquer its many wonders. Do you have what it takes to become one with a machine? To explore the far reaches of space, carving out a name for yourself among the stars? To become a titan of industry, amassing wealth, power, and prestige as you rise above your rivals? Or to prove your worth in combat? Cementing new alliances and vanquishing your foes on your path to glory. For the rare few, immortality awaits. With Air's Capsuleer training program, you become the architect of your own destiny. Captain, I am Aura, your AI companion. I am here to help you find your way through New Eden. Welcome to the first day of your new life as a Capsuleer. I am now transferring your pod into a ship, provided by air as part of your Capsule. An unidentified communicate. Vectoring escape route. Evacuation sequence initiated. Station hull integrity compromised. Captain, this cloning facility was attacked before your capsule could be inserted into a ship. I initiated our evacuation sequence before we reached the hangar to avoid certain death. No need to thank me. This baptism by fire is certainly not what Air had planned for your first day in a pod. Rest assured, I am here to help. I'm unable to identify our attackers but they are not currently targeting our capsule. This gives us time to locate a ship. Your pod may be able to fly through space, but, like all capsules, it is unarmed. A proper ship comes with proper weaponry. Now, let's get a better look at our surroundings. Ah, there is a ship still capable of flight. An Astero, no less. A fine ship indeed. I have highlighted the navigation section of your display. Use it to approach the ship. Board the Estero now. Our shields took significant damage in the attack. The armor is also in need of repair. I believe the appropriate idiom for this situation is, we're screwed. Fortunately, the cavalry has arrived. Ships bearing air transponders are approaching our location. Ferris, Commander of Air Security. All ships evacuating this cloning facility are advised to rendezvous at emergency coordinates. Several thousand civilians appear to have survived the attack. Let us make haste and join the fleet Commander Ferris is organizing. Your overview will display the ships in your vicinity.
Captain, your vessel looks like it's seen better days. I'll repair you once you're in range. Commander Ferris, were you able to determine the identity of our attackers? Negative aura. Their transponders were cloaked and their hulls lacked any identifying information. I'd wager this was an act of corporate espionage turned violent. There are a lot of people in New Eden who want to get their hands on his technology, whatever the cost. Thanks to Commander Ferris's repairs, our ship is almost as good as new. At his command, we will proceed to the emergency coordinates. All ships enter warp formation. designated emergency evacuation zone. We'll be safe here while we regroup. A spot well chosen. This location's cosmic abnormalities will mask our warp signatures from detection. But our appreciation of New Eden's natural wonders will have to wait. Captain, I could use your help. My sensors are picking up a strange signal nearby, but my forces are stretched thin defending the civilian fleet. The cosmic storm likes to play with our sensors, so it could be nothing. But after that attack, I'm not taking any chances. Initiating scan of unidentified signal. Captain, hostiles inbound. We have to defend those unarmed civilian transports. All ships equipped for combat form up around me. Sensors indicate that these are the same ships that attacked the cloning facility. Several frigates are breaking away from the pack. They're targeting those civilian ships. This will be your first combat experience as a Capsulier. Time to show these hostiles what you're truly made of. Orbit the frigate first. We're too far away, Captain. Thankfully, our ship is equipped with a module that will boost our speed. Activate the afterburner module highlighted on your display. My database... We're now within range. Lock your target. Target lock confirmed. Time to hit them where it hurts. Fire at will, Captain. Make sure to use both of your guns. That's it, Captain. Let them have it. Well done, Captain. Now orbit, lock, and fire on the remaining hostiles.
especially when you're winning. Another hostile ship incoming. A cruiser this time. It's larger and better armed than those frigates. What an exhilarating way to test your combat ability. That cruiser is traveling fast. At its current speed, it will reach the civilian transports before we do. Use your stasis webifier to slow them down. I will walk you through the process of activating the module. First, orbit the cruiser. To ensure success, we must lock our target. Now's your chance. Activate the webifier. They're trapped in our web, Captain. Eliminate them. the living captain. I hope your death was not too uncomfortable. Your neural data has been transferred to a fresh clone body. But before you stretch your new legs, someone very important would like to meet you. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Vesper Calatrix, Air's Vice President of Operations. Commander Ferris spoke highly of your courage under fire. You went out with quite the bang. Since your ship was destroyed in a blaze of glory, Air would like to provide you with a new one. Enabling your station services panel. You can now board the ship provided to you by Air.
Try not to blow this one up so quickly. I do hope the new vessel is to your liking. This particular model is quite popular with Capsuleers. Air owes you a great debt for your bravery and sacrifice. So great, in fact, that I've thrown in an extra module at my own expense. If dying means getting gifts like this, you should consider doing it more often, Captain. That was a joke. I prefer you alive. You can access items in your hangar, like modules, from the Neocom. I have highlighted the section of your Neocom that will allow you to access your inventory. Now, let's take a look at the module Ms. Calatrix has given us. A small armor repairer. An extremely useful gift. As you well know, New Eden can be a dangerous place. Well, I'm sure you will have many more exciting deaths in your future. Maintaining your armor might allow you to enjoy life in your current clone body just a bit longer. You can fit the module to your ship by accessing the fitting window from the Neocon. The fitting window displays your current ship's equipment, stats, and attributes. Now would be a good time to examine your ship's attributes. Let's fit your new module in a free slot. Module fitting confirmed. Now, bring the module online. It appears you do not currently possess the skill necessary to use this module. Hardly surprising. You still have much to learn. I'll send the necessary skill book to your AI right now. Under normal circumstances, you would have received a basic skill set as part of the Air Capsuleer training program. Your training was violently disrupted, to say the least. Capsuleers learn skills, like flying ships or using modules, by rewiring their neural pathways. The skillbook contains the mapping data required to perform such a feat. Skillbooks are consumable. Once we inject it into your neural interface, you will be left with nothing but a new and improved version of yourself. Augmentations such as this are one of the many benefits of life as a Capsuleer. Absorbing the skillbook's data rewrites the neural pathways in your brain, teaching you the skill. This process can take some time. We will begin the process by accessing the skill queue from your Neocom. you will see the air skill plan. Skill plan, the skill needed to online your new module, is included in the air skill plan. Now, to speed the process along, I've gifted you with a skill injector. It's the least I can do, considering the role you played in saving thousands of lives. A skill injector? What a tremendous boon. I recommend activating it immediately. Your display is growing rather crowded. Now would be a good time to tidy it up. Close the injection confirmation window. To finalize the skill injection process, be sure to confirm allocation of its resources, most commonly known as skill points. You should close these windows as well. Completed. Now that you have the required skill, Try activating the small armor repair module once more. Very well done, Captain. Your ship's modules are now online. Knowing how to train skills and fit modules is an essential step in your journey as a Capsuleer. But several questions remain. Who attacked the cloning facility? And what were their motivations? Our investigation is still in the early stages, but I have two theories. The attack may have been motivated by simple greed. 
there's no shortage of competitors who would kill to acquire AIR's groundbreaking cloning and capsule technology. A more worrying possibility is that someone out there is trying to stop us from pursuing our research. While AIR prides itself for being a disruptor of New Eden's tech scene, there are those who think we push the limits of innovation too far. The technology suppression laws in New Eden are draconian, if you ask me. I trust you will keep us updated on the investigation, Miss Calatrix. Captain, you'll want to keep your wits about you once we're back in space. To that end, I highly rec- I wish I could do more for you, Captain. But I'm a busy woman and I have places to be. What I can do is put you in touch with contacts of mine who can help you grow a Ah! A perfect opportunity to familiarize yourself with the Agency. I suggest you take a moment to familiarize yourself with what each agent has to offer. They specialize in business, industry, military combat, and exploration. No matter what path you choose, you will find a career agent that can help you walk it. Once you've decided which one tickles your fancy, as the saying goes, set your destination. Be sure to close the agency before we depart. Stay safe out there, Captain. If our investigation uncovers any additional information on the attack, I'll be in touch. Much appreciated, Miss Calatrix. I await any and all updates with bated breath. Metaphorically speaking, of course, I don't breathe. Captain, when you're ready, we can undock and begin the next phase of our journey. I do wonder how you'll die next. I suppose that is what ancient philosophers called morbid curiosity. Now that no one is actively trying to kill us, I will teach you how to navigate in space. First, select the destination I've highlighted in your overview. Now, initiate jumping to your destination. After that rousing introduction to New Eden, it's nice to be in space without the threat of imminent peril. Though this is New Eden, peril often approaches when you least expect it. Jump sequence. I don't mean to unsettle you, Captain. You've already proven yourself capable in battle. I'm certain you can handle whatever New Eden throws your way. And if you cannot, at least you are immortal. You can be reborn into a new clone body to try again. I believe this is what humans call optimism. Jump sequence. According to archaeological findings, New Eden was first settled by humans over 15,000 years ago. Life must have been very difficult for those early settlers. Carbon based life forms are stunningly fragile. With the right pressure, a human's vertebrae will snap like a twig. that houses your chosen career agent. Prepare for docking.
to contact a career agent, you must access the agency. Well remembered, Captain. I knew you would be quick to learn. Now don't be shy. Begin a conversation with an agent. I'm sure they will love you. And if they don't, then they will simply have to tolerate. Missions provided by career agents offer a variety of rewards, including new skills, ships, modules, and money in the form of ISK. To begin the next phase of what I'm certain will be an illustrious career as a Capsuleer, you've handled yourself remarkably well, Captain. Though there are thousands of copies of Aura in New Eden, I am rather glad to be your Aura. Have I said too much? My sentimentality protocols may need adjusting. Now it's time for you to venture out into the stars. Go forth and show New Eden what you are truly made of. Thank you.